Dozens gathered in Freeport tonight to pray for a Brazoswood High School student who was brutally beaten. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Christine Noel. Investigators say 16-year-old Cole Hagen was invited to a party, lured outside, and then viciously attacked by his classmates. And tonight, he is in the hospital suffering from severe injuries. Our Taisha Walker is live in Freeport tonight where the community is praying for his recovery. Taisha. Christine, the community gathered under this gazebo earlier tonight to pray not only for Cole's recovery, but also for several local families here in the Freeport area that have lost loved ones over this weekend and the days prior, and also prayed for those just in need of healing. The Freeport community came together in the name of prayer for healing and to stop the violence. We can't stop it by ourselves, but you see all these people who came out today, like we're together, we gotta do this together. Tonight, dozens gathered at the community park across from Brazosport High School. The school, 16-year-old Cole Hagen attends, along with the three teens charged with brutally beating him at a party in Lake Jackson Friday night. Corey Hagen says his younger brother is making progress in the ICU. Now off the ventilator, Cole is starting to speak and make small steps with the help of nurses. Corey credits the power of prayer. So my brother is a believer in Christ and he attends a, a small group most weeks on Wednesday nights and um, I know his faith is strong and I know this is paying off and our, our family's faith is strong and we believe that he's going to make a full recovery. Tonight, prayer was in abundance. <laughs> Not just for Cole, but a murdered young father, a woman killed in a wreck, and a man who died in a motorcycle crash. I know our story is a big story here, but you know, I'd love to shed some light on these people who have lost their loved ones' lives. You know, that's that takes precedent over our injury as, as hurtful. As hurt as we are, you know, this is this is worse. Vigil organizers say prayer brought them together tonight and will help get the community through. So this was the way that we started it out by having the community come together and pray, not just for the tragedies that happen for everybody. Cole's brother says that reward, the $20,000 is now grown to about $25,000 for anyone that has video of that brutal attack that left his brother now in the hospital tonight. Reporting in the Freeport area, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.